All right, have and have not fans. Now, I'm just doing a quick video about one of the topics of controversy in Undercover Vice, episode three of season five. Uh, during live streams as well as Twitter, a lot of people are telling me that they don't like George, the new DA, uh, for going around, you know, getting trying to get information from the likes of Jeffrey and put together a case that even Veronica can't defeat in court. I can't lie. George was actually my favorite part of last night's episode. I mean, I just love the way that he's just literally reacting just like the fan base i mean to me he literally is us you know just talking about literally c come on now for anybody out there who loves to have and have nots aside from my channel aside from tweeting with people online going on facebook and whatnot there has to be some friends in your social groups that watch the show as well whether it's one friend ten friends five friends and when you talk about the show you're literally talking about the show in the same fashion that George is. Okay, so we had Jennifer Salas' murder. It says cry victim. We have, you know, so-and-so um, hiding the black sedan. You have this family hating this family. Or this family's crumbling apart from the inside. And your mom knows that you're gay, Jeffrey, but still has you getting engaged to a girl. And the list goes on. And what I like about it is because it's almost like he's breaking the fourth wall, but he's not. He's just like... This, this is just craziness. How are we going to put all this together? And to me, that represents myself as well as everybody else out there trying to make heads or tails of this show. We're trying to figure out how everything is pieced together. And that's why George is like, look, we need DNA. We need some stronger evidence because Sarah's like, look, we could take this to the grand jury and get an indictment right now. We could, but no, no, no. Veronica, she just has a way of slithering out of everything. So we need to come up with a solid case that nothing, nobody can strong arm it. Nobody can wiggle out of it. They have to get everything put together. I like that. In my opinion, I like that. Some people are like, well, he's a bad actor. I think he's playing the role that Tyler Perry gave him. I said the same thing about Quita when she was first introduced and everybody hated her. I feel like George is the same way. This guy has gotten beaten so many times by Veronica in the courtroom. He knows, he knows he needs to come up with a stronger case. I like the fact that he's self-aware. He's not just like, oh, I got the first thing I can use against Veronica. Let's throw it in there right now. No, he knows she's in an accident and everything. I just like the fact this guy is self-aware. He's telling other characters what we're thinking. This makes no sense. And now he's trying to come up with a case against Veronica and the criers and whatnot. So in my opinion, George was the MVP of the episode. Those are just my thoughts. What do you think about George? I mean, honestly, after hearing my initial thoughts, does it somehow change your way or perspective on him? And when it comes down to it, do you really think he could come up with such a solid case that nobody can defeat it? We'll just have to wait and see.